Captains, they have returned. The epic collaboration with Hololive Production is now back for a resale event exclusively for new users of World of Warships PC. And for two weeks, you can grab the opportunity to fight alongside your favorite commander from a lineup of six legendary VTubers. Muna Hoshinova, Husho Marine, Shirakami Babuki, Amelia Watson, Takanashi Kiara, and Shishiro Botan. And for those who are wondering about World of Warships, it is a tactical free-to-play online multiplayer game where you guys can actually command historically iconic ships in intense naval battles. So let's set sail and get into the action. All right, Commanders, we're finally in game. But wait, before we get into the Battle of Warships, of course, first things first, guys, we can't get into a war if we are not prepared. So the first thing that we're gonna do is, of course, prepare ourselves for the entire battle. So I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough of the things that we can do here at our port before we start our game. And I honestly have to say, guys, that I was so amazed when I first enter the game. Let me just show you what you guys can see here at the port. Alright guys, so this is our port. You guys can see that our warship is stationed for battle. You can choose from hundreds. When I say hundreds, like it's literally hundreds of different ships that you guys can use. Right now, you guys can see the ship that I'm about to use. This is the Kaga. And actually, there are so many ships that you guys can choose from. You can choose from Japanese ships, US ships, Soviet ships, German ships. You guys can use these various filters to choose the ships that you guys want to use. As well, the type of ships like destroyer, cruiser, battleships, and of course, aircraft ships. And what's so great about these ships, guys, is that they are actually based on the real thing in real life. Like this, the Kaga that I have chosen is actually based on the Japanese aircraft carrier from the past, and even all the details are based on the actual actual ship itself. And you guys can see that there are so many iconic ships here that you guys can choose from. So just to show you guys a few, like we have Camp Belltown, we've got Dreadnought, the Orion here, and there's just so many amazing ships. So guys, here at the port, you guys can do a lot of non-combat activities like of course upgrading your ships, customizing your ships, and at the same time unlocking new ships. And here in game, it also actually features features the history of this warships. So for new players who wants to hop into the game and unlock new warships that you can use, all you have to do is to get to the tech tree. Here in the tech tree, there's a lot of nations that you guys can choose from. So how to unlock these ships, guys? All you have to do is, of course, play the game, earn some XP, and then use those XP to conduct a research in order to unlock them. So guys, as you have noticed, there's actually multiple types of ships that you guys can choose from. Let's check out the different types that we have here we have battleships what i would say about the battleships is that they can deal a lot of damage using all of these cannons although they are a little bit slower but they have more durable armors and they can really tank the damage during the warfare the next is the cruisers personally i think this is the one that's easiest for those who are new into the game so cruisers are very versatile and they're very effective in terms of air defense because of their anti-aircraft artillery so the next one that we have is actually the destroyers. These types of ship is actually very agile, but they are very lightly armored. So they deal a lot of damage and they can also use smoke screens to hide their location. So the next type of ship that we are going to talk about is of course the aircraft carrier. So as you guys can see, this is the type of ship that I like to use. For the gameplay of this, I really like it because you guys can actually control a lot of squadrons of aircraft and fly everywhere. So this is perfect to scout the areas and to assist the team by giving some comms. And also, last but not the least, the submarines. Of course, these are ships that are capable of submerging underwater for a period of time that is restricted by the dive capacity. They can carry out torpedo attacks against hostile ships. So what's pretty cool about this is that you can maneuver the ship underwater, but it's also very difficult to use. But just think of it, how cool is that to maneuver underwater? <laughs> so guys, now that we've chosen what type of warship we want 
to use like me i really like the kagabi which is an aircraft carrier i want to fly around later um we can actually customize the equipments with of course the modules and the upgrades i've chosen quite a lot of upgrades that are based on speed making it faster and more agile for of course our aircraft carriers to move so all of these modules and upgrades guys are completely customizable depending on your play style here in the game honestly there's a lot of options that you guys can choose from and it will be really dependent on your style of playing the game and not only can you guys customize the equipment you guys can actually customize the exterior as well i want to show you guys a few things so you guys can also choose skins like for example this camouflage one makes it harder for enemies to see you maybe but you guys can also choose other designs from colors making it yellow blue <laughs> or you guys can also choose other designs there's also abstract ones that you guys can choose. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I like this one. And again, since we have a special Holo Live production, and because we actually have a special Holo Live production collaboration, you guys can also mount this flag. So you guys can see Holo Live production flag here to support our favorite girls. <laughs> so for our exterior, though, I really prefer going with the base one just because I really like the original design. But we're gonna go into the battle, bring out our flag. We gotta show them love for Holo Life Commanders. Let's get our ship ready. You guys can see that is looking fine. And of course, guys, we can't get into the battle without our lovely commander. So leading our fleet will be Shirakami Fubuki. For everyone who's watching this video, I actually want to invite you all to come check out the Lunar New Year event that's happening right now here in game. There's so much rewards that you guys can get and not only that there is a lot of free stuff that you guys can claim celebrating lunar new year we've got a lunar new year badge that we can claim so apart from shirakami fubuki you guys can actually get husho marine shiroshiro botan muna hashinoba watson amelia and takana shikiara and they're all so cute guys later on you'll be hearing their voices as we start playing they'd be like let's go commander and it's gonna be really cute as you play so guys what's great about our commanders is that you guys can also distribute some skill points for them that is perfect for the warship that you guys are controlling and what's so cute later guys is because she's japanese she'll be talking in japanese and her voice is just so cute okay her voice is just so cute that the entire game is gonna be fun for us so guys since our warship is ready our commander is ready and this player is ready i think we're ready for a battle let's go all right guys since we've already set up i think we are ready to get to the war so let's start off with a random battle against other players but guys since i'm not a pro here in the game please don't judge me all right <laughs> i'm gonna try my best with fubuki chan as of course our aircraft carrier so let's start this battle all right guys so here we go so let's check out our enemies chat and we're starting off with of course a 12 versus 12. <laughs> So to win this game is, of course, we have to get to a total points of 8,000. And we get that 1,000 points with, of course, number one, destroying our enemy ships. And number two is, of course, capturing these areas. I'll show you guys the areas that we need to capture. So right now, we have capture point C, um, but we need to capture A and D. And since we are an aerial ship, we're going to position ourselves somewhere that is far from the line. So I'm going to move myself here. And I'm... Autopilot! So you guys can actually autopilot your ship to move where you guys want it to go. And for this, I will start, of course, using our aircrafts. So like I said earlier, we can just hit that one. And then we're gonna hit that launch. So we have to try to give our team some intelligence. So let's try to see where our enemies are at. You guys can see that the graphics look so realistic. Like, what the heck? Ooh, okay, we've got some enemies here. And they're trying to shoot us. We've got to avoid this. We can actually shoot them. What? Oh no, we've got to return our ship. So we already know that our enemies are there and we're gonna use our torpedo bombers to deal them some damage so far it is a close fight both teams have 272 points at five kilometer mark we're gonna hit that here we go guys no! 
We have to move our ship here to protect ourselves. Our ship is very much important to providing intelligence to our teammates. Here we go. I'm going to use again our aircraft so we can see that our enemies are hiding right over here. Our team is actually really doing a great job. We are at 407 points. Our role here is to actually make sure that our team has information advantage and for the ships that are far from the range of our teammates, we're gonna hit them with this. Let's go. So here's our torpedo bombers in three, two, boom. All right, guys. And let's go. Let's go. I think we can hit it again. Let's try to hit it once more. Okay, so let's deal it, it more damage. We're gonna try to bring that ship down, 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 down. Cyclone has begun spotting range will be decreased to 8 kilometers. Oh no, the cyclone affected our ship. Okay, this is the best part about being an aircraft carrier. We play from the back lines. Let's try to see where else we can provide assistance. Right now, we can see that our teams are dealing range damages here. Try to check out. Woo! Oh no, guys! One of our teammates is down! Let's go back to our ship and we're gonna use our torpedo bombers again. So let's try to assist them from afar, guys. Let us hit it. Oh my gosh. Let's try to see if we can assist our teammate. We were spotted! We were spotted! This is getting really intense, guys! Honestly, we are so close to our objective, which is a thousand. Oh no, they're they're hitting us with their shots. Three, two, boom! Let's, let's try to see. Woo! Woo! We hit, hit it with the best shot! So far, we've captured all three points here except for enemy base. Let's try to see what is happening here. So it looks like some enemies are trying to capture point D. This is honestly really fun for me because I really enjoy the visuals. We're down to the last 100 points, chat! And it's down to the last two enemy warships! Let's try to see what's happening here. We're so close to winning this. So we're down to the last 1,000! Let's go! Congratulations guys and it is a victory! That game was really intense because of the sounds, the graphics, you guys can really hear as we were flying, you guys can hear the water, you guys can see the entire archipelago and it looks so realistic because of the graphics. And you heard Fubuki-chan's voice cheering us on into that battle. That was really, really fun. I do hope that you guys enjoyed playing with me. Thank you so much guys for of course exploring the game with me. If you guys want to enjoy a realistic and super intense naval warfare action, you guys can download World World of Warships PC now on your Windows devices completely free. And guys, don't forget to use my download link in the description to claim your starter pack with a selection of all these awesome VTuber commanders. Plus, you guys will also get 5 days of premium account, 200 doubloons, and 2.5 million credits to help you guys start off your adventure here in World of Warships. So captains, welcome aboard. Let's set sail and experience the action here in World of Warships.